The first rule of fishing in almost any situation is that if you find the food, you'll find the predators. All the best fishermen I know have a set of fundamental rules that determine their approach to all the fishing they do. Finding the food is top of the list, but determining fish holding structure is another. This applies to lakes, rivers, estuaries, flats and even the open ocean. What constitutes fish food varies widely. These orange bullseyes were on the menu for queenfish when we found them packed tight on a calm, clear flat on the inside of Queensland's Fraser Island. If you find bait fish but there are no predators with them, it's best to stay with the bait for a while. A tight packed bait school such as this usually indicates a high degree of the certainty of predators in the vicinity. We had an incoming tide, bright sun overhead and gin clear water over the flats. A perfect recipe for some sight fishing action. For most fly fishermen, flats fishing or sight fishing is about as good as it gets. We're looking for fish before we actually throw the fly to them. And the three giveaway signs of a fish are movement, colour and shape. In this water, cruising shapes were easy to see and inevitably something showed up. Ed saw it first. Yes! Nothing wrong with that one. We certainly made the right uh, fly choice. You went up to a bigger fly there, Peter. Yeah, just a bigger clouser. Some big fish cruising this beach. And uh, very often you're caught in a situation in a place like this with a, a small fly. Oh, oh, good fish. Oh, that is... Here it comes. Oh, no, it's not. Got him. Got him that night. Nice fish. Oh, that is a good fish. <laughs> That's a good fish, mate. Thank you. Well done. Well, and you spotted it first. Good spotting. Yes. The uh, backhand cast, though, was definitely needed and... Uh, you did that well, mate. Swim and be free. There you go. Cruising off. 